by introducing war in a certain way. So playing Ashoka and Farewell, things like that, that are kind of a little distant from their experience, it makes them feel um, safer to start talking. And uh, the key there is to play a piece and then listen or ask questions. Um, you know, I found that this, maybe with Ashoka and Farewell, uh, I found it reassuring when, uh, when I needed to participate in a memorial service for someone I knew who had died. Or my mother, my grandmother was a veteran of World War I, so I played, uh, played that in front of her casket that had a flag on it. So I start talking about that, and then they start sharing some of their experiences. Um, it, you have to be open to listening when they want to tell you something. But it's also, uh, if I play something that meant something to me, and then they, uh, then you ask them, well, what sorts of things got you through? They might tell you it was a picture, it might have been a song, it might have been a letter that they carried with them, but you get something very personal back and it's often a surprise what they tell you and they may not have told anyone before but in that environment where you find some commonality my father was a vet my my grandmother then then they feel safe uh, revealing some of these things in front of each other and they may not have felt like they could talk about it even with other people who live in the same environment but it creates a safe environment to talk about some of these things you don't want to force anything and it there may be nothing that happens except that you feel like you're talking the same language but it's very powerful <laughs>